My name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the owner of Screen Surgeons, a laptop computer screen replacement business in Tucson, Arizona. And today we're going to replace a cracked screen on an HP G62 laptop. Okay, so there's two ways to go about this. There's the hard way and the easy way. The hard way is to pretty much take the laptop apart, take all the screws from the bottom out, then take the keyboard off, take the top case off, and then you have to get to the screws at the bottom of the screen. The thing that makes this tricky is that there's two screws right down here. One is right down here, and the other one is right down here. They are hiding that they are hard to get to without taking the laptop apart, but there is a trick. So we have some tools that we're going to use today. We have a screwdriver with changeable bits, and we have a pH 0 bit and a pH 1 bit to do that. It's basically just an electronics screwdriver. Then we have a very thin flathead screwdriver that's to get to the little screws on the bottom that are hard to get to. We have some tweezers, an X-Acto blade, and some plastic prying tools like this. Now, if you don't have these kinds of plastic prying tools, uh, a guitar pick just will work fine, or even a uh, kitchen spreading knife will work fine. Okay, so um, the first thing we have to do is we have to get to the little screws that are down here. So they're covered by plastic screw covers and we tilt the screen back and then we use the X-Acto blade to remove the plastic screw covers plastic screw covers look something like this. One, we put those to the side and let's get to the second one and two. Okay, so here comes the tricky part. We have to use a little screwdriver we want a flathead screwdriver, it's easier to open it, and go at an angle and remove the screws at the bottom. So you might take some doing. Be careful not to strip. Careful not to strip the screws. Keep going. And we moved one screw. And let's do the same thing on the second one. Sometimes it's easier to tilt the laptop, stand it on the side, then you can see a little bit better what you're doing. And we have the second screw. Okay, now once you remove the screws, it's time to take the plastic frame off, also known as the bezel on the laptop. And you, I usually like to use my fingernails and gently pry from the screen side, go around. At the top, there's some adhesive, so it's going to come off. A little bit harder, but that's okay. Just take your time. Go around. Slowly go around. Be careful not to break it. If you break it, that's still okay. You can fit on there. I've done it before, so it's okay. Now on the bottom, there's some adhesive also. Go slowly. 
If you want, you can use a blow dryer, warm it up a little bit, loosen it up, and the frame comes off. Okay, so now once you've exposed the LCD panel, there's some screws you have to loosen. Basically, the screws that hold the LCD panel to the frame are on the side, but to get to them, you have to tilt the panel forward. And in order to do that, you have to remove the two screws at the top, one, and two, and you have to loosen the screws at the bottom to tilt the panel forward. So there's one, two, three on each side. So once again, one, two, three. Now we tilt, grab it with our fingernails and try to tilt the panel forward. So you try to loosen it up so you can get to this, all the screws on the side. And sometimes it helps to loosen the four screw also. Okay, so then we rotate our laptop, tilt the panel forward, and you can see that there's two screws here. So you can use the smaller bit, the pH zero bit, or you can use the pH one bit to take those out. So you take bottom one out. Okay, screen's starting to loosen. And you take the top one out. Okay, so that's done. Turn the laptop around. And you do the same thing on here. Take the bottom one out. Okay, and take the top one out. Okay, the panel is already pretty loose. Like so. Once you remove the four screws, you can tilt the panel forward. And once you do that, you will see where the connector is. The connector is on the bottom left-hand side if you're looking at the back of the screen. There's some tape that holds the connector together. So you lift up the tape, use your fingernails or a razor blade, and you gotta be careful when you're removing this connector. Sometimes there's adhesive on the back, you just pull it out. Okay, this screen is removed. So the G62 uses a 15.6 inch glossy LED screen. The part number for this particular screen, it's made by Samsung. It's LTN156AT09. But pretty much any 15.6 inch LED screen will work on this. So you can order this on eBay or Amazon or directly from several vendors. So once you take the screen out, you get a new screen and uh, reverse the procedure and do exactly the opposite. Putting a screen back is actually a lot easier than taking it out since you already know where all the screws are and you know all the steps. 
So uh, if you know the trick of getting to the screws behind the front of the laptop using a small little flathead screwdriver, that will save you a lot of time and it's not too difficult. Okay, uh, good luck. Thank you.